In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your hosting a domain to Vercel. So this is very easy if you follow this method. So let's jump into it. So what you need to do is open up Vercel and I've already got my GitHub project connected. It's already here. And if you've done the same and you've got it inside of Vercel, you'll obviously be able to see it in your dashboard. So I'm going to click on it. And if we visit it here in the top right, you can see it's just a very simple to do list record video. It's a very simple to do list. It's created for this demo. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add a custom domain. You can see the domain right now is the default Vercel one. So let's open up the project. So we're inside the project. You then need to go settings in the top right hand corner, then go domains, and then it's going to ask you to enter in a domain. So you need to find your domain. I'm going to find my domain on Hostinger. So once you're on Hostinger, you've logged in and you're on the H panel, you want to look for domains, click on domains and then click on domain portfolio. Now what you need to do is you need to go ahead and click on the domain that you want to connect. Obviously, I'm going to connect this one learningforaliving.com. So we'll click on it. And then we'll go ahead and copy this domain in the top right. Now you can just type it in but I like to copy it so there's no mistakes. And so we know we're all good. So paste in your domain and then click at now it's going to give you some options. What I would recommend you do is just go with the recommended one, which is going to add www.yourdomain.com and redirect it to yourdomain.com. So we'll choose the top one. We'll then click add. And now we will go to the next step. Now you can add the domain by adding records like DNS records. I don't recommend this. This is a bit fiddly. It wasn't working properly when I tried it. So I would just change name servers and you'll literally be done in two minutes. So click on the name servers section and then by default, it's going to show you your custom name servers, which if you haven't changed these are going to be hosting as name servers. You need to change them to the Vercel name servers. So how do we do that? So inside the domain overview, you need to go to DNS slash name servers. And then here, right in front of you, you will see name servers. So go ahead and click on change name servers. And you want to change it from use hosting as name servers to change name servers. Now we go to Vercel, we copy the name server number one, and we paste it into the name server number one, very simple stuff. We do the same thing for name server number two, copy and then paste it in here, delete the existing one and then click save. Okay, so now we've saved that and the changes have been made. It says it can take up to 24 hours for the domain to propagate, which basically means you're all set, but it might take 24 hours for everything to update. Click close and you've done everything you need to do in Hostinger. So now when you go back to Vercel on the domains page, if you refresh it, it should work. And there you go, it's worked pretty much straight away for me. It could take up to 24 hours for you, but don't panic if it doesn't start working. Just be patient because it will work eventually. So now you've got it set up. Now let's just copy the domain and we'll just make sure it's working. I'll open up a incognito window. We'll paste it into here. And there you go. It's redirected us to the to-do list and it is all working. So I hope that quick video did help you out.